Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stephen Breach coming to you here today as we count down until Monday Night Raw. I know a lot of people out there are watching Backlash, but uh, I'm stuck here at work. I'm not going to be able to see AJ versus uh, Dean Ambrose until after I get off. And honestly, it's probably about the only thing that I'm going to check out tonight. But uh, I always do these Monday Night Raw previews and they're always really fun. So uh, why not just crank out one of these real fast on my break. Um, we're talking about Kevin Owens going up against Roman Reigns. Um, it's already been announced that at the Clash of the Champions, the next upcoming Raw pay-per-view, it's going to be Seth Rollins going up against Kevin Owens. Seth Rollins feels that he was wronged because of Triple H's outside interference. We still don't know why Triple H interfered and took out Seth Rollins. Uh, Triple H was nowhere near Monday Night Raw. I don't know if it's because he was uh, you know, dealing with uh, WWE being over in China or um, some sort of uh, business trip or something like that and he just was unavailable to be a part of Raw and it's a storyline that's going to be continued or if it's something that just they had an idea and it's already been dropped. But uh, the, the idea on Monday Night Raw last week was that basically Roman Reigns wanted a shot at the Universal Championship and he wants a part of the, uh, of the match at Class of Champions, that being Rollins going up against Kevin Owens. So now they have set up a, a, at the end of Monday Night Raw, Mick Foley came out. Uh, Foley said basically that next week on Raw, which is going to be tomorrow, we are going to see Kevin Owens going up against Roman Reigns in a non-title match. Um, the stipulation of this match basically is that being that if Roman Reigns is able to beat Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns will be going into Clash of Champions making it a triple threat as the co-number one contender, um, which sort of makes this a, a wishy-washy sort of uh, situation. I mean, honestly, we saw SummerSlam. SummerSlam had a Roman Reigns match against Rusev. Um, it was what it was. I keep looking at this right here. If anybody wonders what this is, I cut myself shaving. It's, it's not a pimple. It's just this damn shaving uh, cut that I got this morning when I was shaving. I don't know why I was shaving away up here in the first place. If I have a mustache, it's way down here, but it is what it is. I got it. I got it good. Um, but, um, you know, I, I don't know if you can do Clash of Champions without Roman Reigns, so it has to make it sort of a an easy pickings thing that, that Roman's going to win this match and because of the fact that he beat the champion on Monday Night Raw in the main event you would think that Roman would have a chance to be the um, favorite to win a Clash of the Champions but I think everyone can tell that you know Roman Reigns was supposed to be sort of not really put on the back burner but sort of gone on a uh, rehabilitation tour before Money in the Bank was it Money in the Bank? I'm pretty sure it was Money in the Bank. He was suspended for 30 days. He didn't get to do any of the build-up for the triple threat match. No, that was Battleground. Apologize. Battleground. He didn't get to do any of the publicity. He didn't get to do any matches. No build-up for Battleground for the triple threat of the Shield that we've been waiting for for years. Um, maybe that's why that match wasn't as big as it once was thought of it was going to be. People thought that was going to be a co-headlining main event style match. Ambrose versus Rollins versus Reigns. And it ended up just being the main event of Battleground. I think everybody knows how we feel about Battleground. It's probably about the same way people are going to be feeling about Backlash tonight once it's all done for SmackDown tonight. But, um, you know, um, you know, definitely Roman had the match against Rusev for the United States title at SummerSlam. Supposed to give him sort of a match, but not be in the headlining sort of role to where he can sort of fall back in the pack and then sort of rebuild himself up and pump pump some wins into that brand to the point of when they want to get behind Roman Reigns again. I don't think it's so much that they don't trust him. I think they just realize people don't fucking like this guy. Yeah, it's it's not like Cena. Cena has people like him. Cena has people hate him. It was what it was, but I feel like with Roman Reigns, he's got people that like him, but there's a ton more people that don't like this guy. Enough to not make this guy the number one guy in the company. Um, Finn Balor um, got the, uh, the dynamite push right away, getting pushed on his first night of Monday Night Raw, beating Roman Reigns in the main event. Um, he got to have the promo once it was all done, basically saying that you know Finn was good, but you know that next time he, he fought him, he was going to have his number, um, and we'll have to see you know if we're ever going to see that match down the road. Definitely, Finn Balor is going to come back from his injury. He's going to be stronger than ever, and hopefully, be in the title hunt, uh, maybe at uh, Extreme Rules or whatever pay per view is going to be after WrestleMania next year. Um, with him not being a part of the Royal Rumble, definitely he's not going to be a part of the title picture main event of WrestleMania unless that. I guess now they can go back to the old way where a SmackDown guy can win the Rumble. He'll go for the SmackDown Championship and then we'll have, um, you know, just the Raw 
title become you know whoever they want it to be. Sometimes it's the guy that finishes second in the Rumble, or sometimes they find a way to, to make it a rematch or something else, or just make it the hottest match that they can do. Um, I'm picking Ro Roman. I think that's pretty much an easy pick um, for Raw tomorrow to get the win, making it a triple threat. Um, the roster's already so thin as it is. I mean, do we want to really see Roman Reigns versus the Shining Stars or Rising Stars? Whatever their names are. Epical and Primo. Not who they are. Do we want to see that match two-on-one? I mean, that's really the only match I can really think of. And if they're even on Raw, I got no clue. But, um... We'll see. This is going to be a damn good match. It's awesome that Kevin Owens is being in the main event slot. Maybe we'll see the return of Triple H. Um, him coming down, interfering in this match again. But then what do you do with Triple H? He's not going to fight at Clash of the Champions. You just have Roman Reigns do a run-in and sort of that sort of build things up to where he screws them so that he screws them and it's everybody screwing each other and it's a big old orgy fest. I don't know. I'm going to be taking... Uh, Roman to get the win. I think it's pretty easy. We've been watching wrestling for a long time. Triple threat, class of champions. Book it.